Okay, let's have a look at uh, adding pictures to our database. Now, in the previous one, we created record for Bucky Sunflower. All you need to do to add a picture is to open the first tab, which is called Rabbit in this case, and click on the button to choose a picture. And choose your picture. You can enter a caption if you like. Um, click OK and the picture's added. If you want to view it in your program or your computer's picture viewer, click on the main picture and you can enlarge it. Another way of adding pictures is to drag uh, pictures to the button. So say we've opened our location where our pictures are, we can simply drag them and drop them on the button. You don't have to add a uh, caption if you don't want to. and the various pictures get added. Okay, now if you want to delete a picture, you can choose it from the list and click the little rubbish bin there and it will delete that picture. The first picture that you add at the top here is the pedigree picture, which means later on when we move on to creating printed pedigrees, that's the picture that will be used as the default picture for the animal. If you want to swap a picture, you can click the little button here and you can choose which pictures to swap. So say we don't like that pedigree, but we like the one in number two, we can swap that with the pedigree picture. Okay, and you can see there now that this picture is our pedigree picture. The other button here is to swap between stored pictures and uh, pictures stored as files. Now in the previous video, I explained to you that if you want to, you can store the pictures inside your database and everything is in one file, but you shouldn't do this if you've got a lot of pictures or if they're very high detail. Okay, here's a simple way of uh, editing a picture. Say we want to crop this picture here, um, so we've got a close-up for our pedigree. So you can click on the picture and open it in the picture viewer, which are either Windows or Mac, and you can click open, and we'll choose paint as our program. Okay, now the picture's been opened in paint. Um, I'm just going to select a little area. Oops, sorry. Select a little area around the animal like that. And then I'll click, um, right click and choose crop. Now the picture's a lot smaller and clearer. And we'll save that. Okay, so let's have a look, see if it's changed. Okay, the thumbnail will actually change when you re-choose the animal. And now we've got a, a clearer picture for our pedigree. Now you may be wondering where these pictures are stored on your computer. Uh, if you open the program folder, which is your username, documents, Kintrax, you'll see the various subfolders that Kintrax uses, and one of them called pictures will contain all your pictures of your animals. So here's the one that we just cropped before. And you can see although that picture's permanently cropped, um, because the program made a copy of it in the pictures folder, the original picture that we imported, which is somewhere else on your computer, isn't affected. So if you ever changed your mind, you could always go back and add that original picture again, um, and it would replace this one.